coordinators, uh, as well as everyone else, I'm sure. And, uh, but I, I felt it was important for us to start getting back together again and uh, figure out a way to do it safely, hopefully. Uh, so that's you know, why we've got uh, the policies in place that we have in place. But, uh, but we're here. Um, not everyone could join us uh, this time, but um, thank you for all of you who were able to join. And uh, uh, I, I think we're going to have a great convention. So uh, just a, a little bit of background. This is our third AtomataCon. Uh, we started in 2016. It kind of grew out of a Facebook group, uh, the Automata, uh, Automata slash Automaton Facebook group. Uh, if you're not a member, it's a, it's a great group. And uh, that, that's why we have the convention, because I joined this group and saw that there was a really a great sense of camaraderie uh, for the internet. It was a bit surprising, uh, but uh, there were artists and historians and, and just enthusiasts involved in this group. And uh, I, I was excited about it. And I, I have a lot of other hobbies I'm involved in, and, and all of those hobbies, people get together in person. And so I said, well, you know, to the Facebook group, if I, if I put together a convention, would you all come? And they said, yeah, sure. And so uh, I went for a partner, uh, found a great partner here in the Morris Museum, uh, because the Facebook group was international. And I, I had to have a reason to get people to fly internationally to a location for an automaton convention. And the Morris Museum, of course, has one of the best collections of historical automata in the world. And on top of that, I found out they're a fantastic partner to host a convention with. Uh, the uh, team here is just great to work with and uh, very accommodating. And uh, they, uh, we work together and they, they put together this kinetic uh, art exhibit, the Cache of Curious Characters uh, exhibit, uh, that has been ongoing now for, for the last uh, um, four sessions. This is the final one this year. Um, but, uh, um, you know, they coincide that with the convention, so we have additional uh, kind of content for you here. And uh, anyway, it's been a, a great partnership, and uh, the convention brought in a, a large uh, group of international people, so that was a, a success as far as uh, choosing to partner with the museum. So uh, we've had uh, people come to the Comedy Con from uh, Japan and Korea and uh, uh, South America, France, Germany, UK, uh, all over. Uh, this year we unfortunately don't have as many of our international guests uh, because of the travel reasons, uh, obviously. But uh, we do have, you know, a, a good group of local people. One thing I'll say about that, uh, we are about probably half the attendance this year of what we have been previous years. But uh, that's not really a bad thing uh, because the, the whole point of AutomataCon is about community and, uh, you know, building up this community and connecting with the community. A lot of the people that come to AutomataCon, uh, came to the first one, have been working together for years but have never actually met in person. Uh, so this is a place where that can happen. Uh, when you talk to people here, you will be talking with people that are birds of a feather. Uh, they, you, can, you can talk shop, you can talk uh, the same uh, kind of language here, and you will, you will find people that you can connect with. Uh, and so even though we don't have as many people, uh, I guarantee you all the people here uh, are interesting people that you want to meet. So uh, take this opportunity to, with a smaller crowd to engage with some people that maybe you haven't met before. Talk to them at their tables. Uh, strike up a conversation with uh, whoever you're sitting down uh, to lunch with. And uh, make some connections. And you'll find that's the reason you come back to AutomataCon. It's not really anything that I do. It's because of all of you. Uh, everybody here is a participant uh, in this convention, whether you're presenting on a panel or not. Um, but we have a lot of people, a lot of all of you uh, helping present on panels or exhibiting. And, uh, and uh, um, you're all involved, so uh, uh, take, take advantage of the fact that, uh, that everybody's here in person uh, and you know, we can make those connections. So uh, with that, let me just cover a couple of things real quick here. Uh, let's see, do we, do we have, oh, here we go. So, um, First, I wanted to mention just it, it has been uh, you know, since 2018 was our last convention, and uh, we have uh, lost a few people uh, that 
uh, were participants in the convention in the community that I just wanted to take a moment to remember. Uh, Beth Bridgewine, uh, whose husband uh, Randall is here, uh, passed away. Uh, she did this uh, talk at, uh, I think it was the 2016 event on the Great Historical Clock of America. Uh, and uh, she was uh, well received and, and she will be missed. I know she enjoyed the event. Uh, Wolf Vaughn uh, came in 2016, and uh, I've got a video here I'll show you in a second of, of Wolf's uh, piece. He was a young uh, artist and uh, really had some wonderful pieces. That, uh, he had these uh, kind of uh, stinky moving socks that he made that uh, <laughs> made everybody laugh, and then the stickers piece. And then, of course, the, the great Keith Newstead. Um, if you're familiar with modern automata artists at all, uh, Keith Newstead's uh, name should ring a bell. Uh, if not, please go Google him, look up his work. He was based in the UK. He never made it to Automaticon, um, but uh, he influenced many of the artists here and uh, continues to influence many of the artists here. So, uh, you can okay. sure.
Uh, with that, I will hand it over to our host, the Morris Museum. Uh, Andy, are you speaking? Or, uh, okay. Uh, Andy Sandlin from the uh, Morris Museum. Uh, uh, I forget your title. Uh, director. My apologies. Uh, Andy's the new director uh, uh, here at the Morris Museum. And uh, Andy, would you like to say a few words? Uh, welcome everyone. Uh, I'm Andrew Sandel, the Executive Director here at the Morris Museum. It's my absolute pleasure to welcome you all in person to Automaton 2020, 21, 22. You get three for the price of one. You all <laughs> good value. Um, I've been looking forward to this so much since I arrived. I only arrived in mid-January and as I was telling some people last night, the first email that arrived in my computer was learning I'd been signed up to the Automaton uh, mailing list. So I know this is a big deal for the museum. And it really is, everything to do with automata is a big deal for the museum. The, the Murder D. Guinness collection is spiritually and physically at the heart of everything we do here at the museum and has driven our new motion of art sound, our new, our new mission of art sound and motion. And as you see, we have the Cash and Kinetic Art Show, we have the Spark Lab with its STEM learning. Everything we do tries to look at the world through art sound and motion. One thing I'll ask of you all is please help us get the word out that while Cash and Kinetic Art this exhibit you see today is the fourth of four that were scheduled. This is by no means the end of our relationship with Kinetic Art. We're just going to stop putting a number when it ends. We're going to keep doing it. You're going to see a lot more coming out in this, a lot more exhibits that explore the wider world of automation, invention, and creativity. One thing I would ask you to do, and Brett mentioned it uh, as something that's new since you were all last here, is please take a chance to drop in and have a look at what the spot that is. We're very lucky, we are the only Smithsonian affiliate in the state of New Jersey, and we are one of only 10 Spark Labs coming out of the Smithsonian in the whole of the country. Um, it is a space where our youngest visitors and the adults they bring with them can join together to explore invention and creativity. And our wonderful team of educators here are, uh, have made some automata-themed crafts specifically for this weekend that the kids can do. So please go and have a go at that yourself if you can get a chance. It's an absolutely wonderful addition to what we do here at the museum and really shows our commitment to that steel, STEM and STEAM learning. It's going to be a fantastic weekend. It's uh, so fantastic to see the museum so noisy and so full of motion and vibrancy. One thing I'll give you a little insider hint is it's going to be 94 degrees today and the Guinness collection has the best air conditioning in the whole world. <laughs> so if you need an extra excuse to get into the Guinness collection, it is great air conditioning in there. Anyway, I know you're here really to get into Automaton for real, so I'll end my remarks here. But just again, a very big welcome, a big thank you for coming, a big thank you for supporting us, a big thank you to Brett and everyone from Automaton for being such fantastic partners here.